Hello, this is Mike Lawless, and in this video I'm going to show you how to align a set of structures according to the scaffold so that all the molecules will be oriented in the same manner. I've read in a series of base 1 inhibitors, and you'll see that uh, they all contain this 1,4-oxazine uh, ring, uh, but you can see that they're in different places. So in this video I'm going to show you how to align all these together to a common core. So if we click on this link here, it'll bring up uh, the journal article. This is associated with the Journal of Medicinal Chemistry. And uh, these are scientists at Janssen, uh, and they developed some 1,4-oxazine as uh, beta secretase uh, inhibitors. And so if you look at this uh, structure here, uh, the pKa of this particular amidine group in here is very important. So we want to align our molecules so that the amidine is uh, in the upper left-hand corner and the rest of the groups kind of go out to the right side uh, of the molecule. So we'll go back into MedChem Studio and the first thing we're going to do is select everything and put it into one uh, class. So I'll combine the classes. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, create a maximum common sum structure. Uh, so I'll go generate Marcouche MCS and you'll see that uh, I'll just take the default and it's highlighted all the atoms in the molecule. Uh, so if I create an R table, uh, the R table is um, uh, has all the atoms in it, but there's asterisks in places, and these are uh, Marcouche atoms. This can be either a CH or a nitrogen. So now that we've got a maximum common substructure defined, I'm going to take this compound here and take it into MedChem Designer and then orient it the way I want to. So if I take the compound, the first thing I'm going to do is kind of rotate it around this way to get the uh, oxazine up in the upper left hand corner. Now I want to orient these so that the methyl group is up here and the substituent is down across here. So I'll just click on the methyl group, uh, drag it up to here and then take my um, square and select all these atoms and kind of bring them down here. And then another tip for this one is I want to rotate this one around here. Now I've got this selected and if I just hit the clean up button uh, that orients this very nicely up here. So now I want to uh, um, just fix the geometry or um, make that uh, methyl group in a better position. And so now this is the uh, structure I want to work with. And then I just um, take this back over into MedChem Studio. And you see how it's aligned this. Now I simply do a right mouse button click redraw, generate new structures, and then ensure each class member's scaffold orientation matches the representative molecule. So I'll click that and then we can uh, uh, eliminate this or make them all singletons and you'll see that they're all aligned very nicely. The, the oxazine ring is up in the uh, kind of the northwest corner of the a diagram and then everything's going up. So now once we start looking at uh, our groups off of these substituents they'll all be oriented in the proper fashion and it makes the interpretation of the results much easier. Thanks for watching this video. My contact details are shown on this slide. If you have any questions you can send me an email or call me. This is Mike Lawless and we'll see you next time.